complexities are something that I come across very, very regularly when I'm speaking to brands and retailers. Now, two that I come across, I would say more than others, they are the fragmentation of product data. So all organizations, brands, retailers, whoever they might be, generally have product data. Some is great, some is not so great. However, they have it. It's very much in different areas within their organization, PIM systems, OMS systems, website backends, very fragmented. The challenge is how do they get that product data? How do they extract it, standardize it, optimize it, and then send it to all the different omnichannel destinations? And that leads to the second most pertinent complexity that we come across, which is, let's say, the requirements of all those different omni-channel destinations. They're all different. An advertising channel would require product data very differently to what a marketplace will. It's about how can those organizations get their product data in the right place that's going to allow them to sell more. And that's essentially what we do at Feedonomics. couple of things. So generally we work with brands that sell across multi-regions and multi-countries, right? And um, there's a couple of really key considerations here to think about and to take. Number one, you mentioned there around cultural nuance, so to speak, right? French in one country, such as France, might not be the same in another French-speaking country, right? Similar with a lot of other European languages. So what I think, and one thing that I recommend to brands is that when you're doing your translations, understand cultural nuance and what that looks like, right? I still think things like AI translations are probably not 100% there in helping you, let's say, translate your product data to be suitable to sell in a new market. There still needs to be an element of human intervention to ensure that you are adapting to cultural nuance, are adapting to things that essentially are going to help you sell your products better within that market, right? So to go back to the initial question, one thing I would say is that make sure your translations are as best they can be. Don't just rely on a, an AI system to do that for you, right? Understand the market you're selling into, understand the cultural nuance, understand how people buy those products, what that looks like, and really get get to grips with the market. That's how you're going to be more successful, right? As I mentioned at the top of this interview, I've been in the space for around 12 years, right? I've seen a number of UK brands expand into mainland Europe and vice versa. The ones that really spend time learning the market are the ones that generally do better. There's one direct answer to this, A-B testing, right? So if you don't necessarily want to spend more on ads, but you want to re remain relevant and want to remain competitive in a ever increasing and ever competitive marketplace, then it's about A-B testing what you're doing in your paid search to ensure that you're staying relevant and ensure that you're staying top of your search rankings. My view on it is that we're moving essentially from destination-based shopping to more discovery-based shopping. Now, what do I mean by that? Historically, if you wanted something, you would go to a destination and you would buy it, right? Now it's more discovery. We're finding things through our feeds, right? Social media feeds and through scrolling, through our smart TVs, through any kind of content we're consuming. That's how we're finding things, right? I'll give you an example, right? Um, those who are familiar with sports, the NBA, when the players come into the tunnel, right? There is now dedicated pages on Instagram where you can find out what those guys are wearing, right? And that's how people are discovering that, hey, that's the latest trend, that's what I want, right? So the way it's changing now is very much discovery based. But there's another one as well that I wanna mention, which is using AI to find products. Specific example, if I'm now looking for something, let's say a new blazer, Instead of going to a specific destination, I will go to AI and I will say, hey, I'm built this way. Which brands are best suited to finding me this kind of blazer? And it will give me the brands listed. I can then go discover that 
and see what works best for me, right? We're seeing a big shift there. People are using AI as the place to start their shopping journey. That's why the most pertinent thing for brands now in 2025, in my opinion, is making sure that the product data that they are sending to the LLMs is optimized because that is essentially your new storefront, right? There is a big shift happening. Now it's previously was person going to a destination to buy. Now it's essentially people leveraging agents, leveraging AI. Are we going to get to a stage where it's agent to agent? Maybe, right? So I think that there's definitely a shift happening. One of the key and fundamental things for brands to consider as part of that shift is ensuring that their product data is fully aligned with where people are shopping.